Hi everyone, it is Leslie here again with another video. And today I wanted to do a haul video because I did one, I think about a year ago with some jeans that I picked up, but it's been a long time since I've done a haul. And I went to a good sale yesterday. One of my favorite consignment stores was doing a Super Bowl Sunday sale where they had an extra half off of the whole store and they even did um, discounts on top of discounts. So if something was already marked 30% off, then it was an extra half off of that. So it was a really great sale. I found out about it on their Facebook page. So that's a tip before I start. If you have some thrift stores or consignment stores in your area that you like, definitely find them on Facebook, on Instagram, see if they have an email list, um, figure out how you can get information about the sales and promotions that they have going on because that's really helped me. I've done that for the last, you know, five years maybe. I've gone ahead and like liked and signed up for all of the thrift and consignment stores I can so that when there are some good sales, I know about them and I'm able to go. I actually didn't see this sale. Um, I didn't see the details of it until right before the store closed. So I got there about an hour before the store closed, which if you know me at all, like when I thrift shop, I like to take my time, go through every single item, really look through everything for flaws, research things. But I had one hour in this huge consignment store with this really great sale. So I was a little bit rushed and I didn't probably get as many things as I would have if I had gone there earlier, but I still got some great stuff and I spent a lot of money. I think I spent about $340, which for me is a lot because usually I go to a thrift store and I get a huge bag of stuff for about $100. So this was a lot for me. I spent $340 to, I think, dollars, but I did get a lot of things. I think I got 23 items and some of it's some really good stuff. So I'm gonna go through what I got and I'll show you each item. I'll guesstimate what I'm gonna list things for, but I haven't done the research yet uh, to determine exactly what I'm actually gonna list everything for. So yeah, some things might actually be listed for a little more, some things maybe for a little less, but I'm just gonna guesstimate for you guys so you have some idea um, but again, I haven't done all of the research I need to do yet. I do research every single item before I list it because you just never know, like even a brand I'm very, very familiar with, like Anthropology, I sell a ton of Anthropology, but I mean, their pieces vary in pricing so much based on style, based on how rare the style is based on just random, I don't know. So I still will research every single anthropology item just to be certain what to list it at because there can be a dress you think is really cute by anthropology that's actually only worth like $5 resale. And then there's also dresses that are worth $120. So it just, you just never know until you look it up. So I, I look up everything. Um, and I think that's a good idea, if, especially if you're new to this, but even for seasoned sellers, um, I would advise looking everything up just because I think it's worth that little bit of time to get an idea of exactly how much money you can get for an item. So that's my little spiel on that. I'll go ahead and do my haul and I will start with, this is a Sundance dress. It's silk and it's really cute. Um, Sundance is a catalog brand and I sell a decent bit of it. It does fairly well. Some of it will sit. This was only $4 and I'll probably list it for about $45. Um, one thing I'll say with Sundance is make sure you don't ever use their stock photos in your listings because 
they're one of the brands that they will absolutely go in and report you and your listing will get taken down. So if you're able to find a Sundance stock photo, do not put it in your listing. Um, and <laughs> I've had some people ask me before about stock photos and that's like a whole nother video. Uh, there's a big kind of controversy about whether or not you should use stock photos in a listing. And I can get into that in a future video, but I'm not really prepared to do that right now. But I'll just say, you're not really supposed to use stock photos. There are some brands that care more than others. And Sundance is one of those brands that really cares. So don't use stock photos in their listings. All right, next up, we have a Babaton. A little jacket, blazer thingy majigger. Um, this was also, this was $3. And it's really cute. If you're not familiar with Babaton, it is a brand that is sold at Aritzia. And Aritzia is a nice brand, a nice store that has several house labels, a little bit like Anthropology. So Babaton is one of them. Um, and there are several others. But they do a lot of very staple pieces. If you're familiar with uh, like Theory or Vince. It's kind of similar styles. And people really like Aritzia brands and Aritzia, um, the store. So Babaton Blazer, I bought it for $3. I'll probably list it for about $49.50. Next up, we have a T Alexander Wang dress and this was gosh I can't do math in my head this was what is 36 oh gosh I think this was eight dollars it's a like a fit and flare dress in this like thicker neoprene material this um thick fabric is called neoprene or sometimes called scuba fabric because it's a little bit like a uh, wetsuit material but it's nice because it kind of holds holds your body in a little bit, which is nice for some women uh, to have that feeling of, of having fabric kind of hold you in. Um, so this was about $8. And T. Alexander Wang is the cheaper version of Alexander Wang, um, although it is still fairly expensive retail. Um, this actually I did do a little bit of research on after I got home, and this was maybe one of my worst buys because... Um, these don't go for a whole lot. T. Alexander Wang can be a little bit hit or miss. A lot of it doesn't sell very well, even though Alexander Wang proper does do very well. So this was maybe not the best buy, but again, I spent $8 on it and I'll probably list it um, maybe around 50 and just kind of hope someone, someone likes it. Um, but yeah, that wasn't the best buy, but whatever. Again, I didn't really have time in the store to do the research that I usually like to do in the store before I buy things. This is an HWR. I've seen this called HWR. I've also seen it called monogram and I'm not sure what the like official brand name is, but it's an anthropology brand and this is an older style. It's a little cardigan. It's like argyle and it has these raised uh, flowers, which I thought were really pretty. This was $4 and I'll probably list it for about $30 because it's an older style and it's not super cute, but I'll have to do some research on that. Next, we have a, gosh, where's Raquel Allegra. This brand is, it's its kind of hard to read the tags on her stuff. You can kind of make it out, but yeah. If you ever see this brand, I love selling this brand, Raquel Allegra. Um, she does a lot of tie-dye stuff. Um, most of her stuff has this like raw hem to it. And it's really nice. They do. She does kind of funky. This is just a velvet tank top. And this was $6. And I will probably list it for about 80 if I had to guess. Her stuff does really well for me. So that's a, that was a good find. All right. 
Next we have a pair of jeans by Madewell. And this was a newer style, I think from just within the past year. These were $4. They're a little bit higher waist. Um, they are a straight leg. Again, they were $4 and I haven't looked them up yet, but I'm gonna guess I'll list them for about 60 or 70. So that was a great find. I love selling Madewell everything, but Madewell jeans definitely have a following. So if you see Madewell jeans, especially the newer styles, definitely grab them. Next we have a Johnny Waz, Johnny Waz uh, jacket. And it has this embroidery on the front and on the back. Um, I love selling Johnny Waz, Johnny Waz, Johnny Waz. Um, he does a lot of very colorful things, a lot of embroidery, a lot of um, just bright printed pieces, very boho, very popular. Um, this was $25, this jacket, and I've sold similar styles before like this for around 100. I'll probably list it for a little higher, maybe 120-ish. Um, but yeah, that was a great find. I'll pick up Johnny Wass just about every single time I find it. I'll even pay, I've paid like up to, I think $70 for a Johnny Wass piece, depending on how like new and current and cool it is. Um, next we have a Tadashi Soji, Sohi? I don't know. <laughs> I'm awful with all these names, I apologize. Um, but I love selling this brand. It is a really pretty little cocktail dress with these like tiered uh, tulle uh, ruffles. And underneath, I don't know if you can see, but underneath it's this metallic like lace embroidery. So it's really pretty. Um, this was $15 and I will probably list it for about 115. Um, this brand, I love to sell. I pick it up anytime I see it for like less than, I don't know, $40. Um, but if it's a really pretty piece, I'd pay even more than that for it. Um, it definitely has a following and yeah, Tadashi Soji Sohi. All right, next we have a little kimono jacket by Winter Kate. This is a nice silk uh, little kimono. The sleeves are, gosh, where are the sleeves? Ugh. <laughs> the sleeves are very like billowy and it's got this nice crochet detailing on it. This was only $3 and I will probably list it for about 50. Winter Kate does a lot of silk little jackets and kimonos and stuff like that. Um, it was really popular in the, I want to say, earlier 2000s. A lot of celebrities like Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie loved to wear this. Um, it still has a following and some pieces are worth more than others. I sold a jacket by her for I think like $100 a few months ago. Um, but then I have another one that's listed for like 40 that isn't selling. So it kind of depends on the style, but she definitely still has a following. So Winter Kate, if you ever see it. All right. Next we have a Cynthia Ashby. I don't know why the tag is crossed out like that, but this is a little crop, crop top like tee with, that has this um, interesting kind of raw hemming to it. I don't know if you can see, but um, Cynthia Ashby makes a lot of log and look flowy linen draped pieces, um, a little bit like European style. And so this is a very basic, you know, tee, so it won't sell for a whole lot. I picked it up for, I want to say $3 and I'll probably list it for about 35 if I had to guess. Uh, but Cynthia Ashby definitely has a following and especially if you see some of her cooler pieces like a really draped flowy dress or jacket it can be worth a lot. Um, next we have an art of cloth tank top 
and this is a 1x so it's plus size which is great this is just a basic tank top but it's tie-dyed um, kind of flowy and I paid three dollars for this as well I will probably list it for about uh, maybe $32 if I had to guess. Art of Cloth, um, a little bit similar to, to some of the other brands I've shown, like Raquel Allegra. They do a lot of flowy, um, almost European style, artsy stuff. A lot of um, tie-dyed and kind of funky colors and designs. Um, but yeah, it definitely has a following if you ever see Art of Cloth. All right, next we have a dress by Diane von Furstenberg. And this is actually a vintage piece, I believe. It's an older style and it still has the tags on it, but it's an old tag and it's kind of yellowed. Um, but this is a wrap dress. And if you are familiar with Diane von Furstenberg, what she is known for is these wrap dresses that's like iconic diane von furstenberg is these wrap dresses um, and this is actually her most popular style wrap dress i believe it's called the jean um it's hard to show this on on this camera but yeah just a wrap dress in this kind of funky brown pattern i paid 34 dollars for this um so i paid up a little bit and i will say with diane von furstenberg her wrap dresses sell very well. People love the wrap dresses. Um, and also there's another style of Diane von Furstenberg that sells really well for me called the Zarita. And it's a lace sheath dress that comes in all kinds of colors. I think I've sold it maybe 10 times in the last five years. So I will always, always, always pick up a Diane von Furstenberg wrap dress. And I will also always pick up the Zarita lace sheath dress. Um, but just a word of warning that Diane von Furstenberg, a lot of her styles do not do very well these days. So if you're looking to pick up a Diane von Furstenberg piece, always look up the style, um, which is found on a tag on the inner, inner, uh, seam, the style name, always look it up because a lot of her pieces just don't really have much resale value these days. So be a little bit picky with Diane von Furstenberg and definitely pick up the wrap dresses and the lace dresses, but but be a little bit cautious about other things. All right, next we have a brand I've never sold before. This is a Nili Lotan, Nili Lotan uh, piece. It is a cashmere hoodie, like a jacket, 100% cashmere. And I love a cashmere piece. Cashmere sells very well for me. And this is a very nice brand. Um, depending on the style, these cashmere pieces from her can sell from like 100 to like even $300. Um, this piece does have some pilling, so I'll have to kind of go over it, maybe with a sweater shaver. Uh, but it is in good shape. I don't think it has any holes. So I paid $24 for this and I will probably list it for about 150 if I had to guess. All right, next we have an Asuka. I love selling Asuka. It is a, I wanna say European brand, I don't really know, but like some of the other labels I showed you, they do a lot of login look, flowy, drape, funky pieces and this was ten dollars it's a sweater dress tunic thing um, with a pocket in front um, it's so hard to show on um, show the whole item on this um, on this little video but it's a really cool dress it's like a staple piece uh, I think it will do well I paid again ten dollars for it and I'm gonna say I'll list it for about a hundred probably all right Next we have, this is kind of cool, a Free People denim maxi skirt. Um, so it's very long and it's got like a raw 
a slit in front and a raw hem. So this was really cool. I paid $4 for it and I'll probably list it for about 40 to 50. I know the boho look is in always, like people for a summer music festival might wanna wear this. Um, yeah, Free People is another brand that can be very hit or miss. So I always look up the style, well, most always, if I have the time, I look up the style to make sure it's a good one before I buy it. Because, yeah, a lot of free people doesn't sell very well. But if it's, if it's a really cool piece, if it's or if it's really rare or something, you can fetch a lot for free people, but it just really depends. Um, so always be aware of, you know, the style and what you're buying before you buy it. Don't just buy every every free people item you see. All right, this was only $3 and it is a show me your moo moo. Show me your mew mew, mew mew mellow <laughs> um, branded top with, it's like a faux suede with all kinds of fringe going on, on the front, on the back. Um, and this is another piece that would be great for festival season. And yeah, it was only $3. I'm gonna guess I'll list it for about 50, but we'll have to see. I'm gonna look it up. Um, yeah, show me your show me your moo 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 moo. All right, it's definitely moo moo. I don't know why I was saying saying it with like a weird inflection, but it's moo moo. And yeah, sorry. <laughs> These like internal processes that go on when I try to figure out brand names. All right. All right, next we have an Alexander Wang for H&M uh, jacket, coat, and this was $15. This is the label. Um, and it's a wool coat that's really heavy and it's got some nice like moto kind of biker detailing, like zippers and stuff all over it. Um, again, it was $15 and I'll probably list it for about 100 if I had to guess. Um, most collaborations, like designer collaborations with H&M, Target, um, do not sell very well, but some of them retain their, um, value, uh, over the years. And Alexander Wang for H&M still does very well. And as does, oh, I just picked up another piece like last week that was really good. I don't remember what it was though. I want to say maybe... Well, ignore me, sorry. <laughs> I wanna say it was like, I don't know how to pronounce it, but Balman, Balmain, B-A-L-M-A-I-N for H&M. Anyways, there are some that do still do well, so just quickly look it up and you can tell. But most of those like collaborations between designers and lower end brands like Target and H&M, they don't retain their value and they're not really worth much, uh, but some of them are, so. All right. Oh, this is a really great find. I was really excited about this. This is a Dolce & Gabbana special edition, um, spring, summer, 2011. This is a jacket that is covered in fringe uh, and it's so cool. And this was $32. <laughs> I'll probably list this uh, gosh, two to three hundred dollars, somewhere around there. That was a great find. All right, only a few more pieces. Thanks for sticking with me. I know this is getting long. Next, we have an Alexander Wang uh, dress that is new with tags. It retailed for seven hundred dollars. And it's pretty cool. It's a fitted like corset, bustier kind of dress, but it's got this mesh detailing throughout that's really cool. Can't know, I can't really see it very well in the video. But yeah, it's a fitted dress. Uh, it looks very flattering. And it's got this bustier top on it. And I paid a lot for this. I paid $50. 
uh, but it was new with tags and I figured I could at least make $100 off of it. So I picked it up. I'll probably list it probably for around 200 and kind of see what happens on that one. Alexander Wang generally does pretty well for me. All right, next we have a black halo dress and this was $4 and it's really nice. It's a sheath dress with some nice pleating in front and then it also has these great cutouts in the back, which I love. Um, black halo does a lot of career slash party sheath dresses. Um, their most popular one is called the Jackie and it looks a little bit like this, but not quite. Um, but yeah, black halo sells very well for me. So this was a great find for $4. I'll probably list it for about a hundred. Um, but yeah, a lot of like fitted flattering sheath dresses. All right. Only three more things. All right, this was probably the most exciting thing I found. This is a Brunello Cuccinelli for Saks Fifth Avenue. Uh, this is a cashmere sweater. It has this like a tie front and it is meant to look like it has a shirt underneath it or something. I don't really know, yeah. Um, and if you're not familiar, Brunella, Brun, Brunello Cuccinelli um, is a very high-end brand and his cash, cashmere pieces retail for thousands of dollars. So this was a great find. I paid $34 for this. It does have a hole in the shoulder. I don't know if you can see, yeah, a little hole. Um, so whenever you buy cashmere, always look because it's, it, can get holes in it really easily, especially if it's an older piece. But I still grabbed this because for $34, um, you know, one little hole is fine with me. This will probably, I'll probably list for about 200, um, maybe a little bit more even, just because the retail price on that is probably like 2000. Um, so people don't really care about a little hole or some people don't care about a little hole. Uh, when they're able to save, you know, $1,500 on an item. All right. Next, we have a pair of jeans by Rag and Bone. Um, and these are cool. These are bell bottom jeans, and they've got a leather, a lambskin leather um, top waist. <laughs> um, so, yeah, bell bottom jeans. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Uh, you can't really see. Um, but these were, I want to say $8. And I'm going to guess I'll list them for probably $50 or $60. Um, bell bottoms are in right now. This, the, I feel like the 70s and like styles from the 70s, kind of like that dinner maxi skirt I showed you. I feel like those never really go out of style. Like the boho 70s look was very in when I was in um, high school and it's still in. And so yeah, there's certain styles, like there are always gonna be kind of boho hippie loving people, I feel like. So there's certain styles like that that I feel like are just always in style. Um, so bell bottoms and high rise denim and all of that that was popular in the 70s is still really popular today. And so yeah, gosh, things are falling. All right, this is my last thing I bought and it is a pair of shoes by, oh gosh, God, I am butchering all of these names. I apologize. Uh, Sigerson Morrison. Um, but yeah, it's a pair of Oxfords with these gold tips on them. They're really nice. They're in great condition. I don't think they have any flaws. They look like they've maybe never been worn. I'll still, I'll list them as pre-owned just cause unless something has a tag on it still, I will never list, I never ever list things. Um, like I always say they're pre-owned unless I can be absolutely sure it's never been worn. But anyways, these were $15. 
and they're nice. I'll probably list them for about a hundred. Um, I love selling Sigerson Morrison uh, shoes and purses. They have a definitely a following. So that was my haul. I feel like this took way longer than I thought. I was like, oh, there's only 20 three items that's going to be like a 15 minute video at most and here i am 30 minutes in sorry guys um yeah i was not expecting that to take that long i must just rant more than i thought i did sorry about that but i hope that you saw some brands that maybe you haven't um seen before or maybe you weren't familiar with and that can help you when you go thrifting um and yeah let me know if you have any questions about brands to look for, questions about, I don't know, thrifting and, and reselling in general. Uh, I've been loving some of the comments I've been getting on these videos and I love to like interact with you guys and see what's working well for you and give my own tips. And it's just like such a fun, positive exchange of ideas and information in this community. So thanks for watching. If you are a fan of these videos, definitely subscribe because I'm hoping to put out more. So thanks again and I will see you soon.